Now we have to calculate the annual yield on this land bank bill. Now the formula to calculate the annual yield is this one. Annual yield is the discount amount divided by the consideration times 1 divided by n, or the inverse of n. Now, in section A, we calculate the consideration. I've written it up here, 10 million, 915,466. And then when we discussed um, the answer to section B, um, we calculated the total income or discount, which is really the difference between the nominal value or maturity value and the consideration, and that is 84,534. So the discount is 84,534. The consideration, 10,915,466. Now that we have to multiply with 1 over n. A 1 over n is the inverse of n, so that is going to be 1 over n is 365 divided by 34. So 1 over n is going to be 365 divided by 34. Let's quickly see why we do this. When you calculate the yield, you take the discount divided by consideration. That gives you this amount. is going to give you the yield for the 34 days from 25 February until 31st of March. But you want to calculate the annual yield. So you first divide by 34 days, then you are going to get the yield per day, and then to get the annual yield, you multiply by 365, the number of days in a full year. So let's calculate that using your calculator. 84,534 rand divided by 10,915,466 times 365 divided by 34. And you're going to get an annual yield of 0 0,0831 or 8,31 percent. Now you can see that the annual yield, which is 8,31 percent, is slightly higher than the discount rate. I'm going to write the discount rate here. The discount rate is 0, 0,0825 or 8,2 five percent. Now why is that? That is because when you calculate the annual yield you are using the discount amount divided by the consideration. But when you calculate the discount rate it will actually be the discount divided by the nominal value. And of course the nominal value will always be larger than the consideration. And because the nominal value is larger than the consideration, your annual yield will always be larger than your discount rate. So you have to be able, for a discount instrument, to calculate the annual yield if the discount rate is provided. And you also have to be able to explain why the annual yield will be slightly larger than the discount rate.